all right good evening one and all my name is somil and welcome to the advanced uh, python uh, programming with meta class and design pattern this is tutorial number 3 in tutorial 1 i just gave you an overview about what we are about to learn tutorial 2 was about basics of class we learned how to create a class instance method attributes class variables property decorators and stuff like that and how to access it uh, public uh, public variables private variables and protected, protected variables we had a very nice recap on of classes and now in the part 3 we are straight jumping into uh, three ways of creating classes actually there are six ways of creating classes uh, but the rest of the methods are using the meta class which i will introduce in the next uh, part so in this video i would want to share how can we create a class with three methods with three different ways and also uh, introducing to the dunda methods so let's get started so the very first method they want to create a class so i'm going to create a class known as a all right this is a class right you you all agree right so i can create an instance of a class by specifying um so right this should work right this is the first method now let's run it and see if this works then i'm going to teach you the second method right we get the address so the memory was allocated on the heap right uh, so that's the first method so let me just comment here i one thing that i i will assure you in my videos is you will not learn any all of any of this stuff anywhere i i try my best to bring all of the resources that i learn from here and there and there in one video so this is like really amazing that i like because these all i've learned from stack overflow from pycon videos and stuff like that and i'm bringing everything in one video so you have all the material um in just one go right so that's the first method by the way so let's see the second method all right guys let's do it so uh let me just give some space because that does not like that ah uh, it's fine I don't care if it likes or not <laughs> all right so class b now the second way of creating a class you probably might not be knowing uh for the beginners who are watching you might not be knowing that a class can be created with this way also so the way is using a call method right so remember call i'm going to uh do that the class variable and um, this will basically uh return an instance so the instance can be specified by super oops not sum super all right super uh let me change that to class and um the dunda method should take all the arguments that are specified here All right now you might not know that a class can also be created with this way let me prove my point by just creating an instance of a class All right so i have just created a class let me try to run it All right so here you can see the memory was allocated on the heap a class was created now what what the heck just happened in this second part so the first one we knew it so class b object so this line is cool right line number 8 is fine we don't have any doubts coming to line number 9 what line line number 9 does define De define means we are defining a function underscore underscore call what does that mean it's a name basically what it is doing is basically it's creating a class uh behind the scene so it's going to call the init method and the and the new method so whenever you want to create a class so uh, think of a creation of a class in python in two steps so first of all the memory is allocated and then the instance of that class is created so this call will first call the new method which we will see in the of course the the next part i mean when i'm going to create the third class and its class c we'll see that so this is going to create a it's going to allocate the memory and assign it on the heap heap now what is this class class is just nothing but an instance variable it can be class self remember in the last video we did self args means nothing but whatever you want to pass in whatever arguments you pass will go in args and quarks right that's args and quarks now return what this what the heck just happened return super super means basically it's going to create an instance of the class uh, so that's the class b i specify the instance variable and again i say call 
a call basically it will again create an object uh, instance and i'm going to return an instance so i'm passing all the arguments that i want that object basically i did not specify any, any arguments here here you can see null so what this will be of course zero right so that's just returning an object right now let's see the third method and this might be also a little new to you you might not be knowing about this right so remember there are six methods i'm just teaching you the three methods the rest of are using meta class which i'll be covering later because you will be going crazy otherwise <laughs> all right i let me correct that spelling mistake all right so that's object right now in order to create a class as i said by default the call calls a two method first it creates a new object and assigns memory on the heap after creating an object it will basically what it does is as i said it's gonna call the init method so now we'll specify it explicitly explicitly sorry so define underscore underscore new that means you want to create a class dynamically on the heap this is going to assign the memory right and uh, return so what do we want to return is again the same thing super all right and uh, similarly if just change it to the class variable copy all of these supply it to me right now that's the new method once the new is once the memory is allocated now we need to create an instance right so that job would be done by the init constructor remember we need to give the args and quotes now what we need to do is basically we need to create an object so again i'm going to say super super duper duper self and don't forget to pass the instance variable the variables All right, darts and quarks. Let's test it out. And then I'll explain you what the heck just happened. So the class name is C. Oops. All right, let's create a class C. I mean, let's create an instance of a class. My bad. Right now, let's run this and see if that works first of all. Now here you can see again it created a class. Now what the hell just happened? So as I said, the call method first of all calls the new method and then the init. Now I can prove my point by simply uh, doing this. Let me comment it out. Creating an object. all right and um, creating an instance of a class right let's run it and see what methods are being called so here you can see uh, as soon as i do that first the creating an object is called that means it's assigning a memory on the heap right um i can prove it to you um i'm going to prove it to you also in the next video uh, in which i'm going to co cover the dunder methods um what basically uh, dunder methods are let me just show you a recap uh, where is that code for dunder methods for the next video so i'm going to cover all of these dunder methods uh, don't worry about that i don't want to uh, <laughs> like scare you but we'll learn all about that right so uh, so here you can see creating an object so it creates an object then it creates an instance of a class and then it assigns memory uh, on the then it returns the basically that instance and when we print the object we get the address of where the object uh, lies so these are the three methods in which you can create a class uh, probably you might be familiar with the method class a class b and c might be a completely new for you and that's okay uh, i would recommend you to try it out type this out physically and do i mean i mean what i mean to say is please do it this don't watch it so once you do it once you get a like an idea what what's going on it'll be really easy for you because when we go to the meta class it's really going to be um, very easy for you guys in next video i'm going to be covering the dunder methods and after that we'll jump straight into meta class prompts so thank you for watching i hope you have learned something new about objects in python if so do give a like and don't worry we are going to learn a lot of design patterns and stuff so stay connected with me 
This is a channel where you learn everything new in Python. So thank you for once again for all the love support. See you in the next video.